Hello. Merry, merry Hello, Christmas. happy Christmas from Sunny Island. Welcome, everyone, and welcome to the Christmas Day special of the Robo Scobcast Sports Show Reading FC Christmas Day special. Today, we've got one guest waiting and coming in a little bit later on, but what I want to do to start off with is wish everyone at home a very Merry, Merry Christmas. I hope you lot are having a great day. Talking of that guest, he's coming in now, but we'll get him in. Uh, we just want to say a thank you to everybody that has been able. He's going to get his first impact on it, but we are recording. We are going. We are here. Right, before we get into anything, what I'm going to do is, is before we do anything, I'm going to go around to each person um, and I'm going to ask you guys what you are thankful for this year um we know it's been an absolute shocking year but if there's one thing that's keep your spirit what's the one thing that's keep your christmas spirit up or the one thing that's kept you going so the first person i'm going to go to um is johnny i'm going to go to you first um what has like eurovision island uh three point six point um <laughs> what i'm grateful for me is uh, today, the alternative Royals Christmas message, mate. If people can just send out a uh, hello and uh, thinking of you to anyone online, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. People are struggling big time, as you know, with COVID and everything else. And if people can just take 20 seconds just to put a message out there to fellow Reading fans or someone they know, someone that's been struggling, as we all have been a tough year, I think it makes a difference. So please join in, please get involved, and uh, let's keep talking mental health because. It's it's a major problem and it's not going away. So we need to look after each other. Apart from that, the roles are doing well. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to go to Ryan because you look so enticed at the moment. I'm going to go to you. What are you thankful for this year? Um, and what has kept you going? VAR. <laughs> I say that because I'm watching the Chelsea game. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Adam, I'm going to go to you. <laughs> Are you really asking me to do this in 2020? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, isn't this more of a Thanksgiving thing? I'm not sure. But uh, I would say just other people, just in general, you know, uh, everyone's been there for each other. And it just goes to show that people make the world go around. And, you know, it's not all about the money. Exactly. Uh, Will, I'm going to go to you. Uh, you've just seen me for the very first time. Hello, welcome. Hope you're all right. Uh, what are you sort of, I know this is a Thanksgiving, Christmas sort of thing, but what are you thankful for this year and what's kept you going? Swindon and League oh. One. <laughs> Swindon getting promoted. <laughs> ah, the Swindon fan. <laughs> nah, but um, no, nah, I'll just say like people, the sort of family and friends around me. Perfect. Josh. Can I go uh, to you? The fact I booked a lad's holiday to Spain in February, I'll turn that'll be what that's what I'm thankful for. <laughs> Great, that to be fair. Uh, so for me, I'm very thankful for everyone that's in this call today um, and everyone that's at home. Um, so we've been doing this now for six months. Um, we've hit well over 70, I think it's, yeah, I know, don't, don't. Uh, six, seven months, I think it's just under six months, I think it is, or um, we've been doing this. Um, we've hit over 70 subscribers, which to me, I've worked it out, it's roughly around about 10 subscribers per, per month, um, gaining every month. We've got over 300 followers on Twitter, 200 followers on Instagram, over 150 followers on Facebook. Um, and you guys have, and, and it was the very first time I talked about my mental health with Johnny um, on the podcast, where I was very open and honest. Um, I've struggled a bit times this year but if it wasn't for this podcast and for the people that are on here today um especially with everyone here um then i wouldn't i, I don't know where i would be now i'd be a fucking ball of a man um but that's that's what that's what i'm very very thankful and christmas this year is going to be very different we know that because of all the coronavirus and everything but if you can't go to your families and you can't go and see them, please make sure that you give them a call, FaceTime. You can give, pick up the phone, have a chat with them, do the message that Johnny said as well, that you can send around to other people that you may not know or you may know and spread the cheer around for everyone this year. Um, we've all gone through it. We've all decided that this is the shittest year known to man. Um, but we are all here together and we're all going to fight 2021 all together um, as a Royals fan, as a Formula One fan, as an NFL fan, as a, a wrestling fan, whoever you're a fan of and you listen to this podcast, we're all going to come together and we're all going to be making 2021 so much better than any other year before. And we're going to make this podcast bigger and better than we've done before. 
Um, and to do that, we need your guys' help. So today's video is just YouTube-based. We're not going to do it as a podcast on SoundCloud, Spotify, or anything like that, because we want you guys to watch. We want you guys to interact with us down in the comments. We're releasing this on Christmas Day, uh, because there might be points of the day where you may get a PS5, or you may get some game that you want to play, but you might want to have something on in the background. And you can just have us on and have a laugh and have a joke and join us in, and we're doing this. So... Who's ready for the quiz? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> How are we doing this? Is it pen and paper or? Pen and no. paper, bitches. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> I wrote this in the chat paper. earlier as well, Mr. William. Oh, I've I got also said you have to wear a Christmas jumper, but hey, hey. Yeah. We, 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 How we, many we, questions are there on Swindon for Will? Because <laughs> yeah. that's a bit of favouritism, mate, to be honest, with the rest of us. I look, look what I've got under. Oh. Can you just can you just kick him out the, the, the video? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so can, can we um can we start off with a question like on um uh what is it? I think you say on ten cats where they do if the answer is eighty, what is the question? <laughs> is how many fans of Swindon got? Eighty, that's the answer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's get into it. Everyone get your pen and paper ready. This, These questions, there are altogether four rounds of questions. They are based on month by month at certain points that's happened since the beginning of January to this, well, until November time. Um, November, October time, um, where they've been based on. So, beginning the very first question, if everyone's ready to go. What we'll do yeah. at the end of each round. So, the rules are... The end of each round, we will go through those questions to see how many points each person's got. If I feel like you're cheating, then I want you to take a screenshot of your of what you've got on your piece of paper, and I need you to send it in the group chat so everyone can see if you're cheating or not. Screenshot like of a piece of paper totally directed at me. Hang on a no. second. Screenshot of a piece of paper. You having a laugh? How can I do that? <laughs> All right, it's reading this window as long as Will loses. We don't care. That's basically the way. Right, very first question. Reading played Fulham for the very first game in 2020. Who scored the winning goal for Reading? Question number two. No one's ready. Who did Reading play? In the FA Cup third round. That's a massive let off for me. <laughs> long, long old trip, oh. wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no idea. I can't remember that. Neither when can I, I remember Forrest going. At home, who crossed the ball in for Reddin's goal? Amount of times I've watched that goal, just like the amount of fans like running back <laughs> in, you know, from from mm -hmm. like all the uh, t the uh, concourses and stuff, like cause they've left off Forest Goal, like the Ooh. amount of fans from like Y twenty five. I know. I, rem I was in that eighteen seventy one, and I went mental. Who scored Reading's goal in the FA Cup game against Cardiff? Which one? Is it those yeah, yeah, well, the first we played, one, them, yeah. we, we played them four times in a week, didn't we? And this is just for one point. There's two answers to this. And if you get one out of the two, I will give you half a point. You're not going to get one point for each. Who did Reading sign at the end of the January transfer window? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, do we? We could oh, him. what's it? What's his name? Oh, I think I got this here. I don't remember signing anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta remember him. You've got to remember him. You have to remember oh, yeah. one of them. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yeah. I remember. No, I remember. Yes. Yeah. What's the hint? Uh, the hint. One of one of the players was from China. It's huge. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There you go. It's Christmas. Oh, it's just about his nice. name, but. Yeah, Maybe just yeah. So let's go through the answers then. Let's see can how I, many can I have one more minute to try and think of the other No, one. you're not you have too long as it is anyway. And, and Courtney calls you the Google cheat anyway, so 
So <laughs> here we go. All right, first question. Who scored the winning goal? Um, it was Charlie Adam. Yeah. Did everyone yeah. get that? Yeah. Yes. I'm looking at Will. Well, somehow I don't trust him. <laughs> hey, look at my answers. I'll show you them now so you, I can't change it. Great lads, copy him. Oh, Blackpool was it? Oh, brilliant. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who, put, as I was saying, did who did Benny really play the in the FA Cup third no, round? Oh, yeah, oh, that's a Blackpool. 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 What an awful game. What an awful game. I, I drove to a replay. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Uh, I Johnny, did you get that one right? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Trust me. Yeah, absolutely. Get Perfect. on. Perfect. Yeah. I trust you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when did who crossed the ball in against Forest for the, the last beat 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 Good lads. Oxford player. <laughs> you support them now too. <laughs> yeah, of course I It'll round it off, wouldn't it? <laughs> Who Ooh, scored shot, Reading's goal in the FA Cup against Cardiff for the first one? Mate. Yeah, yeah. Mate. Yeah. Can we get can we get can we get a bonus point for who scored in the replay? No. Can we get a bonus uh, point? Yeah, I, I have yeah, that. He so. scored twice in that game. No. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm the judge. Yeah, the bitch. Uh, the last one. Oh. Who did Reading sign at the end of the January tra- Ooh, voice crack? Uh, January transfer Ooh. window. Adam, I'm going to go to you. Masika. Masika. That's the one. Masika. No, no, yeah. yeah. And who was the His other one? Is, it's I am Kim Felipe Aruna. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't put Aruna. Forgot about him. So Ryan, you get half a point. Okay, I'll I'll get half a point as well then. Okay, Adam, half a point. Johnny, I've did you get both? Marks. Of course, mate, yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what's, what's that out of five? It's written in, yeah. written in Gaelic, so you can't see it, unfortunately. That's fine, buddy. Yeah. Josh, did you get both? Uh, Yes, mate. I don't trust you at all, after you made me do a video. <laughs> I'm sorry, lad, Mark. It's all very well doing this under pressure. What, what did we actually win? Any of us? Uh, you win um a um, round of applause. Oh, pound Amazon gift voucher. No, you're in a round of applause going, yeah. Well, oh, brilliant. Brandon uh, Claus and Santa Claus has got to take that. Can you get me dressed up? <laughs> I was like that will sit on Mark's lap. <laughs> Johnny, for you any day, mate. Um, here we go. Round two. So, what was the score between Reading and versus Sheffield Wednesday in fe- February? I think it was. Oh, what a day. Put it away, day. I just guessed. When Reading beat Barnsley 2-0, two nil, two, two nil, uh, Mate got one of the goals. Who got the other one? Oh, yeah. Easy dub. Easy dub. Was that, it was a cracking goal, to be fair. Yeah, it, was it, was finish. it was a little bit like the uh, Cardiff one. It's the only, when it's the only game through, of the life season. The future champions... Tell you what, what I'm going to be happy with zero this round. Are you doing that shit? Yeah, All right. I've uh, guessed that both answers. When to the future champions Leeds, what was the score? I think I know this one. I know this. I think that was one player's standout game, if I remember rightly. At least they did well. I just remember him not like, rouletting um, and getting <laughs> away from two players. In the middle, in between two players, a little roulette. Yeah. Reading lost to uh, West Brom at home 2 1. Who got Reading's goal? Oh, no, I think I know this. Sat right behind it, I think. Yeah, I was behind it, 1871. That was working. That's fully four guesses from me now. (laughs) (laughs) Reading lost to Sheffield United in the Cup. No. Who scored Sheffield United's second goal? I saw Adam oh, go, yeah. really, uh, go really early then as well. Who is it? Um, by the way, I think Dan had a bet. Yeah, well, by the way, uh, Wolves have just scored a 94th minute winner at, uh, against Chelsea. Jeez, really? Yeah. Wait, winner? I thought it was 1 0. It's one, it's one all. They've just gone 2 1 up, literally 20 uh, seconds. Po- po- yeah, Podence. Uh, 
Before lockdown started and Project Restart happened, Reading beat uh, Birmingham. Who scored mm. the last Reading goal before... Oh, I, knew this I knew this was going to come up. I know do, we want a, do we want a normal name or a uh, Mick Gooden name? You're not having, you're not having a, a Tim Deller name. We're having, we're having okay. a problem. Deller. Not Tim Deller. 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 Bracket. That was that was six <laughs> questions in that round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that they yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not. It yeah, all depends on how much yeah. research or how much I could be bothered to look into each round. So that's how it went. Um, so let's go through More round two. Way, then. That was to be fair. Here we go. Let's go round round two. What was the score between Reading and Sheffield Wednesday? Three nil oh, win. There we go. Josh is right. Three nil. Who got that right? I yeah. was close. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. I put 3 1. Adam, did you get that right? Yeah, 3 0 because it was Mate, it was Pushgas and it was Bulldog. Yeah, you're not getting bonus points from the away. You're not getting bonus points. Like I'm not having a dumb. suck up. I'm telling you. From the away end, from the away end, it did like Yard Dom scored it because then like Pushgas got touched. Yeah, it was like smallest of touches. Wasn't it? Smallest touch was back here or something. Yeah. Reading beat Barnsley 2 0. Mate got one of the goals. Who got the other? Push Ryan, did you get that? I did get that, yeah. Good lad. Johnny, did you get that? Yeah, of course, mate. Legend, where is he now? <laughs> Injured still. I think he's got the hernia, isn't it? I think. Royal yeah, Bucks. Got, uh, now. Uh, so, when Reading travelled to the future champions Leeds, what was the score? 1-0 One One Leeds. Lost. One nil. Never done this good on the test before, Jesus. <laughs> I should be a teacher, I tell you. You lot will pass quite fucking easy. Uh, I'm doing this in my school, but it's my teacher's going to mark my book. Yeah, <laughs> your teacher's going to mark your book and there's just loads of red and stuff in it. This is not Swindon. This is not your assignment. What are you Will, doing? <laughs> Will, Will what, what does this mean? I am Timby. I am Timby. I get to take this into my exam in January. You mean I am Masika. Uh, Reading lost 2-1 to Sheffield United in the Cup. Who got Sheffield United? You missed one out. Goal? You, you skipped a question. Uh, no, he doesn't. You skipped a question. Oh, yeah, yeah, the West Brom. The West Brom. Oh, yeah, West Brom. oh shit, yeah. Good, good point there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Reading lost to uh, West Brom at home. Who got Reading's goal? It's a push gas penalty. Push gas penalty. Push gas penalty. Yes. Yep. Should have, been, should have been 1-1. One, one. Kyle Bartley's offside for their second goal. He gets flashbacks and that in his dream. So, and then the next question was, Reading lost to Sheffield United 2-1, but who scored United's second goal? Billy, Billy Sharp. Billy Sharp. Who who else? Did the old uh, chicken uh, yeah. celebration, didn't he? Uh, I broke my arm. <laughs> he did, didn't you? Because I think it was, wasn't it, McGoldrick, and then it was Pushgas. McGold- and was McGoldrick Sharp. in like two oh, minutes or something, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Who scored Reading's no, that... last goal before lockdown? Pele. Pele. G. G. Dilson uh, Gomez. Yeah. But you said no Tim Della references, so you don't get uh, points. I'll, I'll, put it, I'll put it in brackets. Right. How's everyone doing so far? You're all happy so far? Six yeah, out of six. Yeah. Four marks. Four Perfect. marks. I've got Not the scores marks. here. I've got the scores here, so I'll keep it along. Full, t- full time 2-1, Ryan. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, here we go. Round three. Who was the first club we played when Project Restarted restarted? Yeah, this is... Oh, you. oh I've got two in my mind. I don't know which one it is. And L- Lucas Shaw did his hamstring so like half an hour, didn't Yeah, he, he scored uh, in his hamstring, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, mate. I'm just going to have a punter team in. Wait, did oh, you sorry, say he scored? Clean, mate. Then... It's not Oxford. Yeah, he scored and then did his hamstring. He scored and done his hamstring in. Done it again. And then he was out rest, rest of the season. Rest of the season, yeah. Reading beat... Know. Next question. Reading beat Luton 5-0. But who scored the most goals in that game? Bit easy one for I'll do a nice and easy one. I'm not Who's that Redding? much. Um, next Last time, question. Doncaster Rose nil, Swindon Town nil. Reading played a thriller at Ewood Park. What was the final score? 
Was this the day that was this the day that Mr. Bowl got going to We watched wait. it together. Is this... We missed the first three goals. Because we've had two thrillers. Is it the one in 1920 well, no, we, yeah, or 2021? We, we went into the town, didn't we? This season, this season. This season? This... No, last season, last season. Last, last season, season, last season. 1920, last, last season, yeah, yeah. Is this when Mr. Bulldog got in trouble for um, speaking to the press? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Five. I'm still yeah, thinking about that first question. No. Uh, the final game of the season, we we lost 4-1. Who got Reading's goal? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck, you know. I gave up watching at this point, I think. <laughs> Yeah, no, I didn't. Didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> it I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> Mark, yep. was it the same person that got sent off? Just give it away, or don't you? That I don't think it was. No. Okay, that's. <laughs> I know who I'm not writing down. Who got sent off? No, uh, yeah, they got sent off. Oh yeah, yeah, but that bloody idiot. So we're going on to the, 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 the... I've mixed up games here, but anyway. Uh, Puska scored against Cholton when we played Cholton away. But what was the final oh score? Oh, yeah. This was a mile by a masterclass where he brought like six defenders on it. No, it was yeah. like four right-backs or three left-backs or something yeah. like that, wasn't it? Brought more three on off the bench in 90 minutes to play DM. What was the last signing Mark Bowen made before he was relieved of his duties? The last. P45. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I think this is a fairly... I think this is... Right. This is kind of... Iffy. Yeah. Because... No, the last one that he was in charge of and made and got the signing, not the one that he did. I think think this... His hotel bill. Huh? It's hotel bill. No. Nah, I won't. The, the rapid crying, sponsor. <laughs> Wait, so who what, won so we... player of the year? Oh, I think I know this. I'm standing up and I'm starting to get dead leg. Uh, right. There was seven questions in that round because I went a bit mental finding stuff. Um, so the first question was who was the what was the first game we played after Project Restart when that happened? Okay, the okay, answer okay. for that is Stoke. 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 Oh, what a punt! What a guess! I Dwayne, swear we drew nil nil with Stoke. No, no, one one they got like last minute equal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Nick Powell. Nick Powell, I didn't yeah. get that because I thought we drew nil nil with Stoke and you were telling me we scored. Uh, Reading <laughs> beat Luton 5 0. What player scored the most? Yeah, he made it. Are you lot keeping your track of your own scores? Yeah, yeah 95 yeah. so far. Oh, I've got fuck it. Then I can't be bothered. I was going to, but I've, I've sort of lost track of where I'm going with all of it. Um, so what we want at the end. Reading played a thriller at Ewood Park. What was the final score? Four three Ooh, Blackburn. Four three Blackburn. Perfect. The final game of the season, we lost 4 1. Who got Reading's only goal? George Puskas. Yes. I think that was another penalty as well, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. We became a bit of a penalty team right at the end of the season, I feel. Or dead to us. We scored a free kick, I guess, against Blackburn. The last signing that Bowen physically. Oh, made. this one. You missed this one. one again. There you go. Yeah, See, I like to test you. Well, that's what I'm doing. Uh, Puska scored against uh, Cholton, but what was the final score? One nil Reading, and it was another penalty. And yeah, Cholton yeah. should have had some uh, penalty as well. I'll tell you and what, he is a very good penalty. 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 Mm. Yeah. We needed him on uh, against Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just realised the last the signing Bowen made before he was sacked. Josh Lawrence. 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 Ho ho ho! Yes, it's true. It was a jar. They they like tweeted it and then they deleted the tweet and had to. They deleted like, about six times, it. six different signings. They deleted about three of them. Um, who won Player of the Year? Raphael. 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 
Perfect. Right. Oh, Mark um, still so far. How are we all doing? How are we all feeling? Full oh, marks, mate. Or oh, Watford Brentford. That's me good game tonight. When Pono oh, not to speak. Hold on. When Paunovic become manager, who was the Man United legend that he signed to his coaching team? I wouldn't call him a legend, but he, he was there. Um, who did Reading play the very first cup game? Oh, I saw that. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I do remember. Yeah, got this was meant to be Pono's first yeah. game in charge, wasn't it? Yeah, but I'm oh, oh, saying... Um, yeah, he was key. Who was Isn't the long-term... Who was manager? Huh? He started, so he finished. All right. Who was the long-term transfer target that signed for the Spanish team instead? Oh, you bitch. That's hey, the nicest thing you've me. I'll tell you. I've crossed something out. So it's All right, I can see you crossed it now, so I'll let you off. No worries. Do you see how, 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 how upset he got? I crossed it out. I crossed it out. I promise you, I'm not cheating. It looks like he looks like rubbish, don't mind. Okay, then. So, who's um, We don't want to need him now, don't we? Who scored the very first league goal of the of this season? Ah, oh, was it? Which way round with the goals? You do realise when you say Bristol, stuff like Bristol that, City one 0 down to Millwall. Yeah, I'm Millwall. Going that one. we don't really give a shit. He's just he's just you saying that, so it's hiding the fact he's using Google. No. Nah. <laughs> And look at that. <laughs> that's like a Saturday over it. No, nah, swinging the shit. Um, just, off to, just off to cry, you know. Who scored Reading's first home goal of the season? I'm not going to lie. When I did this research, oh. this, this confused me. I really had to look you at this. You didn't say didn't you? Was it, Barn- it was Barnsley, wasn't it? I'm not saying. No, I don't think oh, it was. Team, um, let's, when let's played, as a group. Right, when Reading played Cardiff and we beat them 2-1, who scored Reading's second goal? Yeah, okay, I know that one. That's helpful. Yeah. <laughs> what was the last question before that? I scored our uh, first home league goal. Oh, was it? What was this question? What's up? What was question six? Uh, when Reading played Cardiff and we beat them 2-1, who scored Reading's second goal? I'll tell you what, this tinsel is getting fucking itchy around my neck. I'm not going to lie. Oh, uh, I'm just... Strangle myself. I've got the red in top underneath, lads. Santa is a red royal. We all knew it. Uh, so let's go through them. That's round four. So when Pono become manager, who was the Man United legend that was signed to the coaching staff? Fortune. Fortune. Well done. Who did Reading play the first cup game of the season? Colchester. 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 I knew it was them or Gillingham, and I think Gillingham was friendly, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah, it was. Who uh, who was Reading's <laughs> long-term transfer target that was signed Mendes. for a Spanish Mendes. team? Jose Mendes. Jose Gomez's Spanish team as well. Almeria, whatever it was. Sometimes I wish Gomez was still around just so I could see that beautiful face. I'm not going to lie. I'm thankful for Gomez's beautiful face. I'm not going to lie. Like a man. I know he's better. Any day. Um, who scored Redden's first league goal of the season? Sorry, I'm going to call. Was it Jal? 
Jam. Nope. Ovi Ajaria. Oh, Whoa, yes. Come on. Oh, Jao yeah. got the no. second goal. I saw you Jao got the corner first. first. Nick, no, Jao I thought it was the bat. I've, to what I've seen, it was, no, ja- it was Ajaria oh. that got the first goal. No, it was Jao because it was Jao. I'm Googling it. The corner. I'm oh, getting it. Oh, Adam Bowen's already Googled it. I think it might have been Jao. Adam's already Googled it. Because <laughs> Jao, 40 minutes. A jar of 45 plus one. Ah. Ah, oh, shit. shit. I, I, by the way, I'm just waiting we for you to We've got to go apologize. with your first answer, though, Mark. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that would be wrong. wrong. It has to be a point for everyone. It is Christmas. No. No. <laughs> So, are you not going to apologise now? No. Nope. Well, you should. You got the question wrong. You I got, got the question right. right. No, you didn't. And you keep skipping questions when you tell me. No, I know I do that because yeah. I'm an idiot, so it's fine. Where is the fucking you... deck available for next year? Oh, okay, yeah, maybe you got it right. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay. Lucas Jowers. All right, fair enough. My my uh, person that I asked to do it got it wrong, which will be sacked in the morning, so it's all fine. <laughs> Um, oh, was, it was me, so it's all good. Right, how many did everyone get out of... Ev- what have you all got? You, you, oh, two more. Two more. <laughs> two more. <laughs> it's flustered. You lot have put me off, I'm not going to lie. I don't know oh, why. All right, blame us a lot. Oh, yeah, it's our fault. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, it's it's never my fault. Who scored Reading's first home goal of the season? Yeah, you made it. Yep. We all knew this was going to be a car crash anyway, so at least it's turning out to be so far. I tell you what, I've got a Santa beard in my gob as well. Fuck me. Um, when Reading played Cardiff and we beat them 2-1, who scored uh, Reading's second goal? Morrison. Lucas Michael Morrison. Morrison got the first. Morrison got the first. Yeah, Jow I, got I, the second. Oh. I know Morrison got the first because I said he'd get the first as well. Oh, so how many? Right. So we're going to go around now. What was the answer to that? Joe. Uh, we're going to go around to each individual person and see how much how much in total you have got so far. And I'm going to take take it. So uh, Adam, how what are you on? Because I missed heard one of the questions for the Sheffield Wednesday and the Sheffield United. I got twenty one and a half. I would have had twenty two and a half, but I didn't listen. So that's my own fault. Uh, Josh. Um, uh, 23. Ryan. I mute myself when you ask me. I just asked you. I prefer not to speak. I prefer not to speak. 16 and a half. Oh. Oh, dear. Johnny. 47. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an A level in maths, so um, yeah, yeah, Mars ahead, lad. So I don't know what you're doing. How many have you actually got? Uh, I must be. I can't count. Man. I, I'm probably around about so. Like, 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 they're young. I'll give them it. I say. I say two out of forty. I'm fine with that. I'm okay. <laughs> Will. I thought it was going to be questions for old people like me, but clearly not. You know. Uh, Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay, then. So, what we're going to do is we've got one more question I have for everyone, and it is ten points per correct answer. Got some in I. Got something in my eye. Um, is that a question? No, that's not a question. I've got something in my eye. And if you say it three times, it doesn't make you get 30 points either. Do it now, so we have an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> He's blinded. wasting time. We're all... So, oh, the question is, I want you to name each signing we have made this season. In the 2020-2021 season, that's a lot of 20s, Jesus Christ. Um, how many, in the end, I think it was the end of October, we have made signings. I will give 10 points per player you get correct. Oh, baby, it's cold outside. While everyone goes and thinks, I'm going to do a Christmas sing break for you guys. All I just turning my mic down. Someone give me a thumbs up when he's stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just muting, lads. Jesus, Oh, Adam. 
Oh, oh shit, trousers are falling down. This is all I must do. Can you stop? Because you're really turning me off. Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Right, everyone's got 10 seconds left, 10. You just distracted me and I wrote Michael at least. That's the see. end, stop, put your pens down. Right, here we go. I'm going to say the signings that we have made. Okay? So the first one was Josh Lauren. Yeah. The second one was Alfredo Samedo. Yeah. We have Lewis Gibson. Yeah. We have uh, Estevez. Yeah. yeah. And... Armand Donut. Ovi Ijaria. I forgot to write Ijaria. Yeah, I know. I knew someone would forget that one because everyone thought it was so. I went. So, Ooh. Adam, out of I've got one five, more. How many did you get? There's more. There's more. What do you mean? There's more. We literally signed someone. Oh, he eight. joined in 2016. Yeah. 16 year old lad, wasn't it? 16 oh, yeah, like I'm going to put him in. I'm putting players that play in the first team, not the under 23s. You didn't also, say that, mate. You didn't also, say that. You also signed also, the did we not sign yeah, yeah. Amari something for the under 23s. Did we not yeah. sign Jaden Onan in the summer as well? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Lose on, so, yeah. Uh, you know, and the women's team signed loads of players. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> All right, Adam, I'm going to go to you first. How many did you get? I got four out of five. Yeah, I think right. add forty points to your score. Josh, how many did you get? I got four out of five. I forgot the jar. Yeah. Donut. Add forty points to your score. Ryan, how many did you get? Four. Add 40 points to your score. Johnny, how many did you? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Top bloke. <laughs> I <Four>. can't do it. <laughs> oh, fucking brilliant. Um, Will, how many did you get? Five out of five. Good lad. Huh? There's no way the Swindon fans. No, no, can... there. I'm also standing firm that we signed oh, Can them. you ask I've got him down. He's literally been in the first team squad. Who's yeah, he hasn't played. Yeah. He hasn't played. No pressure. Oh. Right, so let's go around and have a look at the all round scores. Adam, points. how many did you get overall? 61 and a half. Josh? 63. So Josh is winning at the moment. Ryan has fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Will, I'm going to go to you. 73. Yeah, he's done me by. Okay, one, then. Uh, and so Will's in the league with 73. Johnny, how many did you get? Uh, 60, I think. Probably making the Perfect. Mass. we got to wait 90, for Ryan. 100. Let me just pull. Right, Ryan, what no is idea. your score? Over. Fuck me. You could have done this already. Jesus fucking Christ. Add 40. What, yeah, what is your overall score? Jeez, this is stressful waiting for this, I tell you, lads. There's a drum roll. Jesus Christ. 56 and a half. All right, then. Uh, so, the winner of the Red in FC... Uh, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 wait, wait one minute. Deductive points for Swindon. Hold on, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've just got word in my ear that VAR want to have a look at this. So, hold on. It's gone over to the screen. Hold on. Uh, they've asked Santa Claus to go and look at the, the screen to see if there is possible cheating slash possible infringement. So, I'm just going to go and have a look at the screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to go and check it out. Right, yeah. I have. Uh, he has wore a Swindon top. Oh, he's fucking getting it out now. Uh, due to the fact of someone wearing a Swindon top in the stream and in this Christmas recording... He has been deducted 150 points. So hey. of the Robo Scobcast Christmas special, which means that next year, he doesn't know this yet and probably won't still speak it to me by then because of all the F1 content. But by the end of next year, when we do another Christmas special next year, has to come back and defend his crown is the one and only. Not only has he made me on YouTube make a video why he is the greatest Formula One person ever, 
and it's coming to you guys if you haven't seen it already. It's on the YouTube playlist, on the F1 playlist, so go and check that out. Um, and he has made me not only say that, but we have recorded F1 together, is Joshua Williams. Well done, everyone give him a round of applause. Nice one, Joshua. Cheers, lads. Ryan, Ryan's really in the clapping mood today. I've got a ding hat on this one. Cheeks instead. Right, um, Josh, I've got to now hand it over to you. Please do a beautiful speech for everyone and tell uh, everyone how happy you are. Uh, thank you, lads. It's the second time today I've made Robbo say something to me about, you know, uh, say how great I am, which is very great. Uh, thank you to yeah. Ryan for turning up and everyone else turning up other than Will. Thank you to Will for winning. <laughs> so he gets deducted 150 points. Cheers, lads. Right, before we go, what I want to do is I'm going to... Oh, fucking phone. Hold on. If I can work my fat fingers, we'll be fine. I want to take a <laughs> selfie with everyone that's in the screen right now. So, everyone... You lot don't... Ryan, get back here! Oh, fuck Ryan. All right, everyone, come back in. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Perfect. So, right, that is the preview. So, thank you ever so much for everyone joining. This is just nice, a, lads. Nice to see you all. Yeah, Take care of yourselves. This is the fun Christmas special that we've done for everyone here today. Don't forget, as what Johnny said as well, please go. Uh, we will put the link to all of the stuff that he has asked for to go and do a message down below in the description. Please don't forget your loved ones over this time. And don't forget as well, during what this year has done and how much shit we've been through this year at Christmas, just go and have fun and just go and be jolly and merry and have a bit of a laugh and cheer with loved ones, with yourself, with anyone, whoever you feel most comfortable with. And we will see you guys in the new in New Year's Day. We are bringing out a New Year's Day special to everyone that's going to be suffering from a hangover because of New Year's Eve to try and drink their sorrows away from 2020. We are bringing you a New Year's Day special. So we look forward to seeing you guys there. Fucking, it's hot in here. And we Jesus. will see you guys very soon. <laughs> Bye! Put the beard back on. He was the host. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>